So, hey guys, it's Amelia today and um, I'm doing my first project on my sewing machine. And for my first project, I'm going to do a hair scrunchie. So, here we go. So I fold the fabric half in half, the wrong side up, like this. And I make sure it's as close as it can be to being in line. And then I make sure it is. And I just put it on the very edge of the foot of the machine. So as much on the edge as it can. So I put the foot down there. And I put the needle down. And I'm on a straight stitch. And it's not too big but it's not too small. So I'm just going to make sure it's all lined up again. And I'm going to make sure it's all straight. So we want it to be as close as possible to the ends, but not too close. So we're going to switch it on so the light comes on. Um, so we're going to do a lock stitch as well. So we're going to start. it's getting caught by here. So why is it getting caught? Um, I think it's just a bit of the fraying fabric so it's okay. out. Right. So we're going to straighten it up again. Yeah, all looks good. Keep going. And then I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to go quite slow. Don't want to go too fast. And you need to go to the end. Oh, okay. A bit further. Okay, now do it there. Stop. That's it. Now go back. That's it. Good. Okay. Now I'm gonna leave this. Use that. And I'm gonna. A bit further up in here though. And now it's gone a little wonky but as long as you straighten up it it's okay. And make sure you do a lock stitch so I'm gonna cut it there. Mm. <sighs> okay. Now you need to turn it inside out. No, I'm gonna turn it inside out. I'm just gonna <laughs> just because they're fraying a bit. So I'm just going to cut this off a bit. And cut the starting stitch off because it's locked so it doesn't need to be on. Now we're going to start turning this inside out. So This is going to be really difficult. <laughs> Going. It takes a bit of work, so. Um, right, so keep pushing in. I think this is how to do it. And then we turn it inside out so the stitch is hidden. And then we've got a neat one on the outside. 
I'm going to try and pull a bit of it through. Like that. Right here. And we're just going to push this bit through. And then this is really fiddly because it's so long. Just about pull this through, and I'm nearly at the end now. Okay, right, so here we are, here's the end. So the stitch is hidden in here, so you can't see it. Like that. Very good. So now we need to put the elastic in, and then we will need to tuck in the ends. And you can either leave it as it is, or secure with a few hand stitches. Okay, so we'll go and get some elastic now. Okay, so... I've got some thin elastic, I've pinned it to one end of the fabric and I've got a safety pin on the other and I'm going to try and feed it through all the way in here. So I'm just going to feed it through a little bit, right here, and I'm going to hold that there. I'm going to find the safety pin in here, I found it and then I'm just going to hold it and pull the fabric right through and I'm going to hold the end of it and pull the fabric back and then I'm going to keep going just like that until I've got the scrunchie so about halfway, a bit more than halfway through so I'm just going to put, I put my thumb on the end of the safety pin and I um, pull it back with the other. So, and then I'm just gonna get in the top. I can't reach it yet, so I'm just gonna hold the end like that. And now I got it. So I got that out. So then I've kind of got it like this, like a scrunchie. So it's all scrunched up. Like this. Now this bit's been pulled in a bit too far, so I'm going to try and get this out. So we're going to take this out. Hold on to the elastic while you pull your pin out now. I'm going to hold this, hold on to this. I'm going to pull the pin out. And okay. I've got this. And tie it now, nice and tight. You want a double knot. So I'm not going to take this out yet. No, you wait in a second. But I'm going to tie this really tight in a double knot. So. Like this. And I'm going to do it again. So it's in a double knot. With elastic it's quite hard to get, get it in. But I'm going to hold two sides of it. Okay. Like that. Nice and perfect. Nice and tight. Okay. And then I'm gonna you can take your safety pin off now. Take this off. I'm gonna just undo it a bit. And then you can feed one end of your scrunchie into the other now, so you've only got one raw edge showing. So I'm gonna Feed this bit into the other bit. Just a little way. Just a little bit. That's it. And you can either use a tiny bit of glue or just one or two stitches then just to stop it pulling back out. And then we're going to use some stitches just to keep it. And then there's a scrunchie. So that's how to make it. So you can test it out now if you want. Should we put a bit in your hair? Yep. We'll secure it in a minute. I'll put it in and then I'll show you what it looks like then. Elastic's 
long enough to go around twice. I know it's not very tidy, I haven't brushed it. But there we go. So there's a good scrunching. And it's really easy to make. It's going to look good in your hair. So, yeah, so just go finish off the ends and we'll be ready to wear properly then. Yeah. So we're going to pull it out. So, bye! Like, comment and subscribe.